college and career counselor, and I will be guiding you through the ceremony today. Please rise for the presentation of colors by the Gaither NJROTC, and please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Seated. All right, now I'm going to introduce the wonderful, the amazing Mr. Morrill, your principal. Thank you. I'm going to take my mask off because I'm socially distanced from you. But I want to say it is great to have you all here in our auditorium because we have not had very many events in our auditorium because of our unfortunate pandemic that we've been in and we're hopefully getting out of. So um, I, again, I wanna say good morning to you all and a welcome to the 2021 Gaither Senior Achievement Awards. I wanna thank Mrs. Branham for overseeing this event today. And I'd also like to thank your wonderful counselors as well as Ms. Branham for the job that they've done to support you in your endeavors over, for some of you, for most of you, your four years here at Gaither High School. Let's give them a round of applause, please. I also want to thank our phenomenal ROTC program for the presentation this morning for the Pledge of Allegiance. We are a nationally recognized ROTC program. Raise your hand if you are in ROTC. A few of you out there, wonderful job to the ROTC program. Please give them a round of applause. You all have done a phenomenal job trying to navigate this school year. Some of you have been e-learning. Some of you have been brick and mortar from day one. Some of you have been e-learning from day one. Some of you have been e-learning, then brick and mortar. Some of you have been e-learning, then brick and mortar, then e-learning. And then brick and mortar. And then e-learning. And then quarantined. And then back to brick and mortar. And then quarantined again. And maybe quarantined three times. Raise your hand if you've been quarantined three times or more. Three times or more. A few of you. Good grief. You probably, your head's probably spinning just going, good grief. You know? It's been a really tough school year. Some of you and your families have possibly contracted COVID. Maybe you contracted COVID. Maybe somebody in your family passed away from contracting COVID. It's been a tough year. It's been a tough year for me as a principal. I've been a principal for 12 years. I've been an administrator since 1997. I've been a teacher since 1992. I have never had a more challenging year as a leader in my life. Most people sit up here and they go, Mr. Moore, I don't know how you do it. How, how do you manage everything that you have to manage? I do it by having, first of all, the best attitude that I could have. And I deal with my own personal issues through other ways of getting the stress off of my shoulders. I hear a lot of people today in our world and parents saying, I've got anxiety. My child has anxiety. My child has depression. 
We all personally struggle with that and we have to find a way in order to cope with it and deal with it. You all are about to go off into the world, whether it's work, maybe some of you are taking a gap year and you're gonna go find a part-time job. Some of you are going to college, some of you are gonna live at home and go to college, some of you are gonna go away and go to college, some of you are gonna go into the military. But you are gonna be expected to deal with the personal issues that you have and do the most stellar job that you can do in whatever it is that you decide to do. Dealing with anxiety and depression and any other issues or ailments that you have is gonna be, have to be done on your own time. And you're gonna to have to learn how to cope with it if you haven't learned already how to cope with it. I'll share mine. I go to the gym. I work out and I work out hard. And I work out harder than some of the, the young folks that are in that gym. And I got folks that come up to me and they go, how old are you? And I tell them my age and I tell them I have a 25 year old daughter and a 21 year old daughter. And they go, really? Because that to me is a priority because I can't be any good for you, for these people that work with me, I can't be any good unless deep down inside I am ready to go myself. There's a reason why when you're on an airplane and the steward or stewardess says, parents put the mask on over you first and then your child in an emergency. Why do they say that? Because the parent is no good unless they're taking care of themselves first to be able to deal with an issue. You have to find a way to take care of yourself before you can put forth the effort into your post-secondary studies or at work. You have to take care of yourself. You have to eat right. You have to mentally and physically be prepared every single day to give 110% to others. And I've been saying that all year. That's how I am mentally able and stable and physical to be able to support you and to push you and to drive you and do the best that I have being a leader. And I hope you've seen that in me and it's been hard because it's been hard to be visible at every event which we've had so few you've seen me in your classrooms i've been in every single classroom in this school to observe your teachers to provide them with feedback i want to thank the parents i know we're recording today but i want to thank the parents our parents are not here today unfortunately because of our issues with the pandemic so we have not been able to invite our parents and I apologize for that. Because one thing I want you to do to make sure that you do is to thank your parents. I always talk about graduation and that graduation is not really for you. And you may think, what are you talking about? It's not really for me. I'm the one that's been going through four years of high school, eight years of elementary and middle school, and I'm ready to walk that stage. It's for your parents as well. First and foremost, they had you. And your parents have raised you. Some of you have been raised by a legal guardian, an aunt, an uncle, a grandmother. We say it takes a village. There are a lot of people in your lives that have raised you. A coach, a teacher. Some of you have struggled, some of you have had illnesses, some of you have had a difficult home life, a challenging home life, but I want to say thank you, and I'm going to continue to challenge you after high school, because you get to live your life. You get to live your life. Your life starts after high school. More independency, and you're going to be asked to be more mature, to be there for others, to work hard, and nobody might be behind you to tell you what to do. 
So you always do what's right. Being a leader means that you have to make decisions sometimes that aren't going to be popular. Being a leader means that you're not there to be popular. You're there to lead and to do what's right. By what's in your heart, by what your company may value, whether it's a service-related company or a product-related company. But you are going to be tasked to go into the world and to do something productive with your life. So I challenge you to find out what that is and to go for it. And there should be no barriers that stand in your way of that process. You find a way to deal with the barriers and to move around the barriers to get what you want in life. And I hope, I hope that you find happiness because sometimes in life is about being happy. You've got to find happiness. And if there's something in your life and you're not happy, then you, find, you need to find something else to do. So, that being said, I know I've taken a little bit more time probably than you expected, but I want to congratulate all of you. You are sitting here because you're receiving awards today. You're receiving awards because you worked hard to get here. And you've overcome those obstacles and those barriers. That's why you're here. So we celebrate you today. I am so proud of you. And I'm going to be even more proud on graduation day on June 2nd when you walk across that stage. And what's going to kill me is I can't shake your hands. Okay? But I will be there to give you your diploma, your cover, as you walk across the stage. You'll get your diploma after the ceremony, at the fairgrounds, and I'll be there to acknowledge you as you cross that stage. Because of COVID, again, I am I'm not shaking hands. So thank you. Thank you for your diligence and for where you are today and continue to make a difference, continue to get those accolades. You're starting back out at the bottom again. You start as a freshman when you come into high school, you leave as a senior on the top, and you start, whether you're at work, you start on the bottom again. And in college, you start as a freshman all over again, and then you rise to the top. Again, by working hard and doing those things. Leadership is also doing what's expected when nobody's looking at you. The other thing that I always say too, when there's glory, when there's accolades, everybody's happy. But people are also watching you when you fail. And how you deal with the failure is what's most important. How do you rebound from the failure? We've all failed in life at something, including me. And I could talk to you all day about the failures I've had. But it's how you rebound and how you stay positive and how you help others that are in need. Okay? So, we are going to move on in the program. Thank you for listening to me, by the way. I know I go off on a tangent, but I felt it was important to say those things to you. And hopefully I've motivated you and... and you continue to do those great things that you've done all school year. No, you're good. So just sit back down and then we'll pick up in a minute. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Morrow. All right. Now I would like to introduce Mrs. Nina Saxena from PTSA for a special presentation. Good morning. I am serving on the current executive committee of our Gaither PTSA. Uh, many of you have probably grown up wondering, what is the PTA? I always hear about this PTA and they're always doing fundraisers and trying to make us buy cookies. So um, I'm just going to tell you, for more than 120 years, National PTA has worked towards bettering the lives 
of every child in education, health, and safety. It's a network of millions of families, students, teachers, administrators, business and community, leaders that are all devoted to the educational success of every child and the promotion of family engagement. We do believe the more parents are involved in a child's education, the better chances of success. PTA has advocated for a variety of things through history, things like the creation of kindergarten classes, child labor laws, um, hot and healthy lunch programs, arts in education, school safety. They are heavily involved with advocacy and legislation. Currently, Florida, um, we, we were involved in trying to seek waivers from federal requirements for school accountability during this pandemic. So schools, teachers, and students would not be punished for not being able to safely test. We secure funding. Um, we are currently involved with uh, the Bright Futures legislation that they're trying to limit Bright Futures scholarships to what some legislators believe are careers or degrees that will lead to a career. So they don't want to provide Bright Futures. So these are all things that are important and we hope that you will go forward and as you grow up and have families that you will get involved with PTA. And if you have younger siblings, um, have them join because here at Gaither, it's not just PTA, it's PTSA, which stands for Parent Teacher Student Association. So each year, the PTSA at Gaither sponsors scholarships. This year's eligibility was that they must be graduating this spring or summer, must be a member of Gaither PTSA, and must have at least a 3.0 unweighted GPA or higher. They had to submit two letters of reference, one from school and one from the community. They had to submit a 500 word essay. Um, we had given them a choice of questions that they could pick and then also submit a paragraph about what role the PTSA plays and what it means to you. This year we are proud to present two $750 scholarships to anyone that had, uh, um, to these two winners and to go forward towards their next endeavor. So I'd like to recognize the first one um, is Jesse Rosen. Yes, Jesse, come on up. They're getting their certificate now, and they'll get their check when we see proof of registration or your next plan. <laughs> okay, thank you. And the uh, next award scholarship goes to Ciara Garza. Thank you for allowing me to present. Thanks. All right, next um, I will be introducing Mr. Nicholas McCaig from Seminole Electric. He has a special presentation of a scholarship. Good morning. Seminole Electric Cooperative, located right across the street from your school, is very happy to have Gaither as a neighbor, and we are especially proud to award a scholarship to a graduating senior this year. 
This is the 19th year that Seminole will partner with Gaither to assist one of its graduates in the continuation of their studies. Our scholarship, awarded to a high school senior who has made a great impact in the community, consists of a one-time award of $2,500, payable to the college or university of their choice. This year's recipient of Seminole Scholarship has not only excelled academically, but has also demonstrated a strong commitment to her Tampa community, with 68 logged hours of community service. She began giving back to her community in middle school when she and her family took the opportunity to serve those in need at Metropolitan Ministries during the holiday season. She has since volunteered for many events through her church, shared her gift of music with residents of assisted living facilities, participated in fundraising activities for school organizations, and volunteered for the Special Olympics. This year's recipient has been accepted into Florida State University, as well as the Global and Public Affairs Learning Community, which focuses on ways to help the world in which we live. It is my pleasure to present the 2021 Seminole Community Excellence Scholarship to Lillian Aldridge. Thank you, Mr. McCaig. Uh, we really appreciate your partnership. All right, next time um, I'm going to call up Miss Marla McClay. Uh, she's going to do the recognition of our Bailey Family Foundation winners. Thank you. This morning, I would like to take a moment to recognize the recipients of the Bailey Family Foundation Scholarship. The Bailey Family Foundation was established on May 8, 1997 by Ron K. Bailey to improve the availability and quality of post-secondary education. The Bailey family wanted to make the dream of quality education available to more people. With that goal in mind, they funded a nonprofit organization called the Bailey Family Foundation. Typically, there is only one recipient from each high school in Hillsborough, Polk, and Pinellas counties. But this year, we are lucky enough to have two. These students will receive a scholarship totaling $20,000 over four years. Isn't that nice? Please help me in congratulating Abigail Dietrich. and Gabriela Reyes for being this year's recipients of this prestigious award. Congratulations. Congratulations again. Thank you, Ms. McClay. All right, now I'm going to present just a few more scholarship winners. If you guys hear your names, please come on up and receive a certificate. Um, we had a few more winners from the Hillsborough Education Foundation Scholarship. It opens every year in October. Um, actually, it might have been December this year. Um, it's one application for over a hundred scholarships, and this year we have four winners with a grand total altogether of $6,400. Um, the donors of our recipients include the Tony Sled Memorial Scholarship, the Jerry Spora Scholarship, the Mark R. Mahoney Scholarship, and the Hillsborough Education, or the Hillsborough Association of the School Administrator Scholarship. So please help me in congratulating Emma Bullion, Stanley Zhang, Genesis Estrada Bermudez, and Talisa Coriano. If you guys are here, please come up. I don't know who's here. Oh, that's Emma. <laughs> Genesis. I don't know. Genesis. <laughs> 
Of course, it looks like a mummy. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, I'll see you back. Thank you, ladies. Congratulations again. Okay, next. On behalf of your class of 2021 senior sponsor, Mrs. Trumbach, she couldn't be here because she's teaching. Um, I have a few awards for Senate to present. These students have led the way this year for the senior class. Please give a round of applause for Gabriela Reyes, Olivia Rojo, Abigail Dietrich, Shelly Jarmel, and Nicoletta Zarcona. Ladies, come out. recognize their outstanding seniors. So please, first, we're gonna welcome up Mrs. Linda Taylor onto the stage to present our Perseverance Awards. There you are, and here's your names. Thank you, you're welcome. Good morning. Perseverance means that you push through, you stay with it, no matter what. We don't usually use the term perseverance in a situation where everything comes easy to you. And things don't come easy for my students. They have to work a little bit harder. They have a few more challenges. But each one of these seniors has found success in something that they are good at because we are all good at something. And we are extremely proud of them and I'd like to invite them up on this stage now to receive their Perseverance Award. All right, Chris Adams. <laughs> Stephanie Castro. Gabriel Rodriguez. Caleb Williams, Daniel Gus. This is your award. All right. Let me take it back over there to Ms. Watson. Okay. Where are you going? Stephanie, this is yours. Thanks, Congratulations. Sure. And Brandon Etienne. Hi, hey, Caleb. All right, thank you, Ms. Taylor. All right, next up is the English department, and I'm gonna call up Mrs. Betsy McDonald to present on behalf of the English department. Thank you. In the English department, we have three awards. We have Benjamin Rosenberg. <laughs> Nicolette Zarconi. And Christian Ugard.
Thank you, Ms. McDonald. All right, next I'm gonna call Ms. Marlin. She's gonna do awards for CTE and electives. Good morning. So we'd like to take a minute to recognize some students that have excelled in their um, career technical classes. Some of them receiving their industry certification and some of them have won awards and competitions. So um, I would like to recognize Jordan Foreign. <laughs> Michael Tran, Jacob Joy, Jose Calais, Jordan Murphy, and Noah Root. The not crossed out ones. <laughs> they picked me for math, so I'm so strong in math. <laughs> that I'm like the top math person in America. So the winners of the math department awards are Alexander Smith, <laughs> Andy Rodriguez, <laughs> Stanley Zhang. And Jacob Cho. Congratulations again. All right, next up we have the social studies department. I'm going to ask Miss Kavan to come up and do social studies. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Good morning. I'm going to be calling Ava Fang. Abigail Dietrich. <laughs> Misty Quay. <laughs> Jacob Chloe. Jessica Ellensworth. <laughs> Ava Thing. <laughs> Marriages <laughs> Mabinstis.
Jude Messinger. And Andy Rodriguez. Congratulations, guys. All right, next, we're going to have the science department, and that will be Mr. Mazard. <laughs> right here, it's just the three names. Good morning. All right, Alexander Smith. <laughs> Ashley Eswick. And Stanley Zang. Congratulations. in there. <laughs> All right. And the world language department, I'm going to have Miss McClay come up for world language. Those are our last two. One of them's not here. That's right. Good morning. For outstanding Spanish student, we have Natasha Dunraj. And Ashley Estrich, congratulations. Natasha? Yeah, there you are, sweetie. Okay, that concludes our department awards. So next, we're going to move on to um, our top scholar awards. So these are a little bit different. I'm going to have, uh, actually, Miss McClay is going to read those names. Miss Wicca couldn't be here. She's running a school. So I'm going to have Miss McClay, our department head, come on up and read those names for me. Good morning. The Gaither High School top scholars include this year's Honor Circle students who are ranked as the top 11 students of the senior class, as well as our Tribune Honors students who are ranked in the top 3% of the senior class. I am pleased to present the Top Scholar Award to the following students. Camilla Fernandez. Sierra Garza. Jacob Cho. 
Marius Max, Marius, I, I don't want to kill your last name, but Marius, we're very proud of you. When you come up here, tell it to me, okay? James Simpson. Ken the World. Andy Rodriguez. Brielle Allison. Logan Valenti. Lauren Gagliardo. Jessica Ellingsworth. Abigail Dietrich. And Naya Haddad. Now I would like to turn it over to Mr. Morrill to present the class of 2021 salutatorian, valedictorian, and the principal's award. Thank you, Ms. McQuay. I'd like to recognize our salutatorian for the class of 2021. This exceptional young lady is graduating second in our senior class with a weighted GPA of 8.35, and she will be attending UC Berkeley out in California in the fall. Please join me in celebrating the salutatorian of the class of 2021, Ms. Alexis Mariash. speech at graduation on June 2nd. Next, I'd like to recognize your valedictorian for the class of 2021. This dedicated young woman is graduating top of her class, number one, with a weighted GPA of 9.6. And this is the highest, since I've been the principal at Gaither High School, it's the highest GPA. She'll be attending New York University in the fall, and please join me in congratulating the class of 2021 valedictorian, Miss Mystique Quaid. to hearing your awesome speech as well on June 2nd. Every year, one student is selected by me to receive the Principal's Award. This student truly embodies the spirit of Gaither High School and has taken full advantage of what our grade school has to offer. She shares her passion and enthusiasm with everyone she meets. And before I announce her name, I've grown close to this student. She has represented our school in a variety of different capacities. To name one, our, our school, along with some others that were selected, there were approximately 11 schools, and we took field trips in various career fields uh, in, in the community. Uh, we went to Bush Gardens, and we looked at their culinary operations department, we went to the College of Engineering over at the University of South Florida. We went to Kaiser University. There were a lot of other places too that we went and she was expected to do a presentation relative to her experiences and the presentation was awesome. It was flawless. She got up and spoke to adults in the room that she didn't know right off the top of her head. It was fluid. It was candid, and she really enjoyed the experience. 
I've gotten fond of seeing her on Friday nights at our football games. She's one of our awesome cheerleaders. And to be a cheerleader, you have to cheer for your team no matter what. No matter if they're losing, no matter if they're winning. And we had a, a very good season, obviously, a lot to cheer for. But, but cheering is a tough job. And you may think if you've never been a cheerleader, it's easy to be a cheerleader. It's not easy, especially doing all the moves, the jumps. Believe me, I've tried it. I am not coordinated enough. And I thought I was pretty coordinated. She must be pretty special because the majority of the senior class voted for her to be the leader of our school. Now, back in my day, and rightfully so, some of the leaders here at Gaither were true leaders. Sometimes leaders at a school, it's a popularity contest. And some folks get into positions and you go, how did they become a leader of the school? But this person truly embodies the leadership of Gaither High School. And we've had our talks throughout the year about our school culture and climate and dealing with a pandemic. We've had a lot of talks throughout the year just to, to see how everybody's doing. I've gotten to know her thoroughly well as a great student here at Gaither High School. She is always positive, and if she's any negative, I can't see it because she's got her mask on. But even before that, I never saw a frown on her face. So this year's principal award goes to Gabriella Reyes. Alright, next I'm going to uh, ask Miss Upperview to come on up and explain the awards. After she does her explanation, you guys are actually going to come across the stage as well. So Miss Upperview is going to explain the awards, then we're going to line up by alphabet. Miss Sanchez is going to help release you by row to come up here. We have a packet of awards for you. Okay, so just listen for directions. So we have several kinds of awards that you're going to hear announced as these students are going to be coming up alphabetically. The honors graduates are students who have a weighted grade point average of a 4.0 or above. The presidential award certificates are given to students who have a 3.5 unweighted GPA or higher, but have also had a 75th percentile score or higher on a standardized test. Those include the SAT, the ACT, or the PSAT in math or reading specifically. We also have Tribune Honors students that graduated in the top 3% of their class. We have AP Scholars, which are students who earn a score of 3 or higher on 3 or more exams. AP Scholars with Honors, which are students who score a three or higher on four or more exams. An AP Scholar with Distinction, a three or higher on five or more exams. And we also have National AP Scholars. That would be a score of four or higher on eight or more exams. We have an AP Capstone Diploma Award for students who earn scores of a three or higher in AP, seminar and AP research, and on four additional AP exams. We have AP Seminar and Research Certificates. Those are students who score three or higher in AP Seminar or AP Research, but not on the other four AP exams. So that is an important distinction. So what we're going to do is we're going to have students come up alphabetically. For this particular award, you're going to all be entering the stage from this side and coming across. And Ms. Sanchez is going to help us at this time, start having the students line up over here. And we're starting, of course, with letter A. So, so the students, you're asking to engage with me. You are going to line up first. Ms. Sanchez is going to get you lined up. Okay. Let's get them out of order. So. 
supposed to go that way. So later here in front of the stage, when you hear your name, that's when you're going to come up here, okay? I think the way you came out was a little bit out of alphabetical order, but that's okay. <laughs> so when you hear your name, please come up. Okay, so our first student, and by the way, um, in reading these names, we're actually reading the names of all students after, so that they all receive the recognition that they've earned and deserve. Some of them are attending virtually as well. So first we have Shaylee Acosta. Next is David Albors. Then we have Lillian Aldrich. And hold your pause, please, until the end of this section. Next, we have Adam Malesi. Brielle Allison. Samara Apollon. Natalie Aracena. Genesis Araque Diaz, Daniela Apollo Bacallo, sorry, Jenna Bagby, Ali Balahi, And I should have been saying along the way what these people are receiving, so I'm backing up just a little bit to do that. Lillian Aldrich is a Presidential Certificate winner and an honor graduate. Shaylee Acosta is an honor graduate. David Albors is an honor graduate. Adam Alessi is an honor graduate. Brielle Allison is receiving a Presidential Certificate, is an honors graduate, and is an AP Scholar with distinction. Samara Apollon is an honors graduate. Natalie Aracena is an honors graduate. Genesis Araque Diaz is an honors graduate. Daniela Bacallo is an honors graduate. And Jenna Bagby is an honors graduate. Ali Balahi is also an honors graduate. Next we have Leti Belsiero Cordero. She is an honors graduate. And Ariana Balda is an honors graduate and an AP scholar. Melissa Valdelamar is an honors graduate. Nicholas Bartolo is a, receiving a presidential certificate and he is an honors graduate. Nina Bartolotti is an honors graduate. Austin Beard is an honors graduate. Jackson Beaudry is an honors graduate. Riley Blocker is an honors graduate. Kennedy Bollinger is an honors graduate and also an AP scholar. Kaya Bonilla is an honors graduate. Emma Bullion is receiving a presidential certificate. She is also an honors graduate and she is an AP scholar. <laughs> Lauren Burden is an honors graduate. Rochelle Kaba is an honors graduate. Valeria Calderon Martinez is an honors graduate. Silvana Calderon Martinez is an honors graduate and also an AP scholar. Jose Calais is an honors graduate and an AP scholar. Rain Carrera 
is an honors graduate. Sierra Loren Chapman is an honors graduate. Madison Chiason is an honors graduate. Jacob Cho is receiving a presidential certificate. He's an honors graduate, and he's also an AP scholar with distinction. Alexandra Serino is an honors graduate. Isabella Clay is an honors graduate. Talisa Coriano is receiving a presidential certificate and she is an honors graduate. Caroline Cotto is an honors graduate. Cameron Cross is an honors graduate. Emmanuel Q is an honors graduate. Brisa Cummings is an honors graduate. Marcus Danili is an honors graduate, an AP scholar, and is a, also an AP seminar and research certificate winner. Matthew Doherty is an honors graduate. Jillian DiMaria is an honors graduate. And you may now applaud that section. Okay, hi again. My first one is Natasha Danrush. She is an honors grad. Oh, okay. Abigail Dietrich, she's a presidential certificate and she will get an honors, she's an honors grad and she will get the AP capstone diploma and AP scholar with distinction. <laughs> Josefina DeMilla. She's an presidential certificate, she's gonna get one. She's an honors grad. Nicholas DeMillo, he's an honors grad. Dylan Dixon, he's an honors grad and he's an AB scholar. Anastasia Douglas, she's an honors grad. Jessica Ellensworth, she's going to get a presidential certificate, she's an honors grad, and she will get an AP scholar with honors. Ayaz El Shafi, he's an honors grad. Gus Emery. He's an honors grad. <laughs> Emilia Enciso Mesa. She's an honors She will get the presidential certificate. And she's an honors grad. Ashley Etheridge, she will get an honors, she's an honors grad. Lila Eskelin, she's an honors grad. Genesis Estrada Bermudez, honors grad. Camila Fernandez, she will be, she will get the presidential certificate. Andrea Fields, she will get, she's an honors grad. Jordan Forey, she, he is an honors grad. Sachil Frank, honors grad. Olivia Fur. Honors grad.
Colin Gabriel. He is going to get the presidential certificate and he is an honors grad. Rena Gagne. She is an honors grad. Ali Gagne. An honors, an honors grad and an AB scholar. Thomas Gangan, he's an honors grad. Sierra Garza. President's certificate, she's an honors grad and is an AB scholar, AB seminar and research certificate. Natalie Gear. She will get a President's Certificate. She's an Honors Grad and an AB Scholar. Juan Jill. He's an Honors Grad. Christopher Gonzalez, Honors Grad. Michelle Gonzalez, Honors Grad. Anthony Graham, honors grad. Haley Greenlaw, president's certificate, honors grad, and AP scholar. Lauren Wapliardo, president's certificate, honors grad, and AP scholar. Carly Goodcher, honors grad. Naya Haddad, President's Certificate, Honors Grad, and AP Scholar. Grace Hanlon, President's Certificate, Honors Grad, and AP Scholar. Casey Harbour, Honors, Honors Grad. Zoe Harris, Honors Grad. Daisy Hatcher, Honors Grad. Lexi Hawk, Honors Grad. Jasmine Hawkins, Honors Grad. Benjamin Hens, President's Certificate, Honors Grad, and AP Scholar. Megan Hoban. President's Certificate, Honors Grad. Benjamin Hoover, President's Certificate and Honors Grad. Donna Huerta, Honors Grad. Ana Iglesias, President's Certificate and Honors Grad and AP Scholar. Sebastian Infante, President's Certificate, Honors Grad and AP Scholar. Colin Jackson, honors grad. Richard Jackson, honors grad. Shelly Jarmel, honors grad. Alisa Jefferson, honors grad. Caleb Jensen, honors grad. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you for all your hard work. This is going to be bad. I apologize in advance. I'm going to try not to kill too many names. Hunter Jordan. Honor grad. Amberly Knapp, honor grad. Ryan Kaufman, honor grad. Lawrence Laura, honor grad. Isabel Larabis, presidential certification. Honor grad, AP scholar with distinction. 
Noah Ladee, Honor Grad AP Scholar, George Leon Lopez, Honor Grad AP Scholar, Kristen Leon Medina, Honor Grad, Joan Laura Sanchez, Honor Grad, Elizabeth Leiden, Honor Grad, Tanasia Madison, Honor Grad, Marius McVitas, sorry, we practiced too. Honor grad and AP scholar. Nevea Malia, honor grad. Alexis Mariash, salutatorian, honor grad and AP scholar. Dante Maroon, honor grad. Jalen Marta, honor grad. Daniela Martinez, Presidential Certification, Honor Grad. Lorenzo Martinez, Presidential Certification, Honor Grad. Congrats. Emily Mason, Honor Grad. Giovanni Mateo, Honor Grad. Michaela Maza, honor grad. Bridget Mazuko, honor grad. Pedro Mendez, honor grad. Jude Mersinger, honor grad, AP scholar with distinction. Christian Michael, honor grad. Elizabeth Miller, presidential certification, honor grad and AP scholar. Sean Monahan, honor grad. Lamaya Moore, honor grad and AP scholar. Linda Mora Plaza, honor grad. Frank Morales, presidential certification, honor grad. Kada Mueller Lila, sorry, <laughs> honor grad. Jordan Murphy, Presidential Certification, Honor Grad. Emily Nam Fensong. Presidential Certification, Honor Grad, AP Seminar and Research Certificate. Julian Negron, Honor Grad. I love you more. Joseph Newman, honor grad. <laughs> Chai Nguyen, honor grad, AP scholar with honors. Alex Nguyen, honor grad. Scarlett Nichols, presidential certification, honor grad and AP scholar. Camden O'Donnell. Honor grad. Last name. Yours or mine? What's last name? Yours? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Good morning once again. I am Mr. Mazur. Guidance here at Gator High School, serving students with last name P through SN. I personally would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all for an extraordinary accomplishment. I am elated, I'm ecstatic, I am overjoyed. Without further ado, let's begin. Jordan Parker, honors grad, recipient of an AP Scholar. Isha Patel, honors grad, recipient of AP Seminar and Research Certificate. Caden Payne, honors grad. Dylan Passar, honors grad, Dylan will be attending University of South Florida, St. Pete campus. Christopher Fong, honors grad. Kenneth Pointdexter, honors grad. James Polanco, honors grad, recipient of AP Scholar. Your current 2021 Valedictorian, Mystique Quaid, with the highest GPA that I've ever seen, and probably ever recorded here at Data High School, a 9.6 GPA. She has also received her Associate in Art at Hillsborough Community College. She's an honors grad a presidential recipient, scholar recipient, and also an AP scholar recipient. Kyle Ryan, honors grad. Valeria Ramirez, honors grad. Kaney Raymond, honors grad. Jordan Reed, honors grad. Abigail Ray, honors grad, recipient of AP scholar. Gabriella Reyes, honors grad. Gina Ricci Beans, honors grad. And recipient of the Presidential Award. Gina will be attending University of Central Florida this fall. Ryan Rivera, honors grad. Recipient of AP Scholar with Honors. Lizette Rocha Permenta, honors grad. She will be attending Hillsborough Community College this fall. Andy Rodriguez, honors grad. Recipient of the Presidential Scholars, AP Scholars with Distinction, will be attending UF this fall. Olivia Rojo, honors grad. Recipient of the Presidential Scholars, AP Scholars with Distinction. Noah Root, honors grad. Jesse Rosen, honors grad. Benjamin Rosenberg, honors grad, will be attending University of Central Florida, AP Scholar recipient with honors. Jared Ruroff, honors grad, AP Scholars recipient, Joshua Sanchez Poetis, honors grad. Caitlin Shepard, honors grad. Adrian Silvas, honors grad. James Simpson, honors grad. AP Capstone Diploma recipient, AP Scholar with Distinction. McKenna Season. Presidential Award recipient, honors grad, and AP Scholar recipient. Alexander Smith, Alex. honors grad, AP Scholar with Distinction recipient. Haley Smith, honors grad. A round of applause, please, for the following for the accomplishment. A round of applause, please. Yeah. Thank you. 
Last but not least, you know, I represent the end of the alphabet. And, you know, I love my end of the alphabet, and I'm very proud of you guys. Um, starting with Selena Solis. She's an honor grad and a presidential award winner. Uh, Destiny Soto. Honor grad. George Spohr. Honor grad. Riley Stover, honor grad. Emily Soon, honor grad. Harrison Tam, honor grad. Ava Thing, presidential award and honor grad. Also, AP Scholar with Distinction. Danangeli Thomas Martinez, honor grad. Anaya Torres, honor grad. Michael Tran, Presidential Award and honor grad. Christian Ugarte, Presidential Award. Jonathan Urena, honor grad. Kylie Valdez, Presidential Award, honor grad. AP Seminar and Research Certificate, AP Scholar with Honors. Logan Valenti, Presidential Award, honor grad. Rome Van Fleet, honor grad. Tiara Vasquez, honor grad. Brian Vega, honor grad. Maria Velasquez Montes, honor grad. Clea Waters Meese, honor, honor grad. Owen Wall, honor grad, AP Scholar. Hannah Wuerl, honor grad. Julian West, honor grad. Jennifer Waymu, honor grad. Miranda White, honor grad. Madison Whitehurst, honor grad. Shannon Wilson, honor grad. Rachel Wilton, Presidential Award, honor grad. Jacqueline Woolley, honor grad. Luke Wachowski, honor grad. Alina Zapata, honor grad. Nicoletta Zarcon, honor grad. Stanley, I'm sorry. Luke Ruka, honor grad. Stanley Zing, presidential award and honor grad. Also, we have Daniela Pena, who's an honor grad, and Nisha Roche, Roche, who is an honor grad as well. We always want to honor and acknowledge all those at Gaither who have worked hard 
over the last four years. We may not always say your names right, but we endeavor to work on that because I know how important that is uh, to have your name said correctly, having experienced um, how that feels over the years. So I want to say thank you to each and every one of you. We are so proud of you. Give yourself a big hand. You guys are awesome. You've worked so hard through this year. It's been so different. We can say that. Um, on your way out today, make sure you grab up all your things. Don't leave yet. Um, we have a sweet treat for you outside near the um, cafeteria. So make sure you pick that up on your way. Um, and when you're going, listen. Before you head out to the back door, there are a few cameras there. Please don't knock them over. Please go out the side doors of the wings. Thank you. I love you too, Julian. <laughs> Everybody, he loves them. Now I don't love him as much.